everyone, Charlie James with ABC News Digital back in freezing New York City. Um, I hope that you're watching this from somewhere warm if you're like most of us, you've been trying to stay inside all day. But not everyone has that luxury on cold days. Um, uh, no matter what, what uh, the temperature is outside, dogs need exercise, they need uh, to go out. And we are here at Camp K9, which is a dog daycare, doggy daycare, and they also do grooming. Um, and doggy boarding as well. And we're gonna talk with a couple of the dog walkers um, to give us some tips on cold weather dog safety uh, and safety for owners as well who have to go out and walk their dogs in this cold weather. So come on inside. This is Wendy here and uh, um, I'm sorry, Betsy here. And we are also joined by, this is Fluffy. Fluffy yep. This is Fluffy here. Hi, Fluffy. Can you look in the camera? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's going to look right at you. Fluffy is the welcome dog of Camp K9. Um, and we also have the top dog mm -hmm. or owner of Camp K K9. This is Tanya Eisenstein. And she's going to be giving us tips um, and tricks uh, for dog safety in the wintertime. So uh, we have a couple dogs that are coming out for their afternoon walk. Um, so even in the cold, the dogs here at Camp K9, they need to get their exercise, they need to go mm -hmm. out. Yes. Um, so, but you still have to, there's some precautions you have to take. Absolutely. Um, it largely depends upon the breed of the dog. And um, there are certain dogs who absolutely thrive in the cold weather. Huskies, for example. Golden Retrievers, um, Samoyeds, and they love it outside. And the dogs that you would see pulling sleds exactly. in, the, in their exactly. prior lives yes. before they, they became New York yes. City house dogs. Exactly right. <laughs> um, you know, when you get you know down in size to say like a Chihuahua with not so much hair, this can be very dangerous and unpleasant for them. Um, and there's of course a variety of dogs mm -hmm. in between. But what, what I would recommend is with any short-haired dog, um, putting a coat on, uh, you know, once it once it hits freezing, um, get them a coat. The coats are not just for the the puffers and sweaters that you see on on dogs. They're not just for style. I think sometimes people think that Correct. it's just uh, yes. that it's just an aesthetic. Yes. yes. Um, but some dogs need them to stay warm, and sometimes it can be also stylish. Mm -hmm. But yes, for short hair breeds, you know, for example, we have a lot of French bulldogs. Mm -hmm great idea to put a coat on them. Mm -hmm. um, there are some very small dogs who really don't prefer not to go outside once it gets very, very cold. As I mentioned, the very small chihuahuas. Mm -hmm. um, they will often elect to stay inside and use a wee-wee pad. Gotcha. Um, but m I would say most of our dogs do like to get out, mm -hmm. no matter how cold it is out. And again, you just want to put some coats on them. Um, once there's snow on the ground, there are different precautions one needs to take. Mm -hmm. And so I believe that we have a couple of golden Remember retrievers. Yeah. Yep, they're coming back. You can see them Pulling back in. here, Pulling getting in. ready to go. So these would be dogs that would be uh, that would be happy to be out in the cold. And uh, I was noticing, and we were talking before uh, here inside Camp Canine, that it looks like the Upper West Side particularly loves French Bulldogs and Golden Doodles. <laughs> there's yes. a, there is a, an above average number of those dogs here. So let's meet these guys. Hi, oh, how friendly. <laughs> so who do we have here? This is Ruby here and this is Cody. And this is Cody. And what's your name, sir? My name is Dwayne. Dwayne, how long have you been working I'm here? working at Camp Canine for eight years now. Oh, wow, nice. So you are an, definitely an expert in all things dog walking, rain absolutely, or shine. Absolutely. Okay, great. So we're, we're in good hands. Um, so, Tanya, you're going to be coming with us as well? I can. All right, great. Let's go for it. <laughs> all right, I'm going to turn the camera around so we can get more of these guys. Yeah, okay. I know you're more interested in seeing their cute faces. Yes. Try it. And we're pretty close to Central Park here, so I assume that the dogs like to go to the park as they well. They love going to the park. <laughs> so, so Tanya, these dogs would not be bothered at all by the cold. No, um, they, they love it. <laughs> I think they get more invigorated. I think actually the heat bothers these guys more than the cold does. Yeah. Yes. And so as a dog walker, what do you have to watch out for personally? Like what do you, if you're going to make sure that you're going to keep up with the dogs when it's cold, I mean, you're obviously got your hat on and everything, but what's important for you to keep in mind? Um, you make sure you usually have gloves on <laughs> for the weather and just pretty much stay bundled up. 
that's about it. Because as you walk through those, you get hot as well. So it's not really that much of a problem with the heat. Or okay. With the cold. Great. And so, um, what about tips for the dogs specifically? We can walk with them if you want. Um, tips with them, what I like to do is I like to curb them. So mm -hmm. what I do is as I'm walking them, I walk them to the curb so they can use the bathroom. Okay. And I have a bag that I usually carry with me and pick up the number two. And just watch out for other dogs. That's it. And so in cold weather, do you want to make sure that you don't keep them outside? Too? Like even if they're having a great time in the snow, is there usually like a time limit for them? You know, it really depends on the dog and you have to look at the signals the dog is giving you. Are they shivering? Do they have, you know, ice balls forming in their paws that, that are causing them pain? You need to be in tune with the dog. Um, these guys can probably stay out. Uh, you know as long as we could stand staying out yeah. some of the smaller short-haired breeds yeah you really do need to limit their time even with a coat and so what about those like doggy gloves or doggy shoes that we see are <laughs> yes. those useful as well do would they would are. these guys need those yeah. Mostly we find that dogs need them once, <laughs> once the snow has happened, and not even the snow, it's the salt. Salt can really burn a, a dog's paws, and okay. so those boots are actually essential if you live in the city, and they're salting the sidewalks and the streets. They are very important. Um, there are a couple of varieties um, of those boots, and also alternatives such as uh, a product called Mushers, which is essentially a doggy chapstick, if you will, okay. that goes on the bottoms of their paws that also protects against the salt. But just for the cold, um, we have not found that they actually really need the booties. It's more for the salt. Yeah, okay, the interesting. Snow. I didn't, I wouldn't have known. I would have thought it would have been more snow. Hi, <laughs> it would have been more snow, but Cody. listen, dog owners, Please looks like you'll on. need. Yeah, Cody is, <laughs> and, uh, Cody is a budding star. Dwayne didn't mention that I'd like to toss in there somehow. I don't know for me, uh -huh. yeah, whatever, is a key to staying warm as a dog walker is also wearing a hat. Mm. Um, we make sure to provide hats to our walkers. That is key for staying warm. Um, you know, you don't you don't go out in this weather without a hat. Our sweatshirts have hoods on them as well. Mm -hmm. um, that's actually very important to staying warm as well. Right. Even though Dwayne won't, may not admit that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well let's essential. let's do a little walking with these guys. Let's see how they like the how they like the cold. We're seeing people super bundled up. The dogs okay, seem. We also have another dog too. Oh, Pick okay. If you want, let's go. Let's this go. This is meet Wilbur. Him. So we've got another dog. Poor Wilbur. It yeah, looks I like they. Uh, they're all pretty friendly with each other, the dogs here. Can't they all know each other. Yeah, they they all actually know each do. Other. Yeah, and this here, this is Wilbur. And you can see Wilbur is wearing, sporting a puffy coat. Yes, Wilbur has a puffy coat. Which he needs. He's, he's, you know, as you mentioned earlier, the very popular in the Upper West Side French Bulldog. And again, Wilbur is sporting a fashionable and functional puffy coat, mm -hmm. which is definitely keeping him warm mm -hmm. as we take him to the park today. And so how do you, as a dog walker, how do you find in general that New York City dogs, not the ones that you're walking from Camp Canine, but you come in contact with a bunch of other dogs, do you find that they're normally pretty well trained? Yeah, absolutely. Usually they come to us, they're usually trained. If they're puppies, we have training classes here as well. When they come in, they can get trained. Is Is Wilbur getting peed on? No, I don't think so. Well, should we walk them down towards the park? Yeah. Okay, let's do, do that. a little right walking down. with these guys. And uh, we've got a lot of. Get Wilbur in there. What about the Christmas trees that we see all over the street this time of year? Is there any sort of danger with the trees that dogs should watch out for? Well, you, you never want to let a dog eat them. Um, the the bigger issue that, that we face as dog walkers is really one of stopping all the time, mm -hmm. particularly with the gentleman dogs. Uh, they like to utilize the trees um, in a fashion for which they were not intended, and it does make our walks go. A lot longer. A little bit longer. Yeah. So as we wrap up here, let's uh, just give like your top tips for uh, owners mm -hmm. um, who are having to, to take the dogs out in the cold. What are the number, like mm -hmm. top three things that they need to sure. remember? Number one, if you have a short haired and or small dog, put a coat, put a sweater first thing. Um, second, read the signals your dog is giving you. If your dog is shivering, um, if, if your dog is lifting up his or her paws as if they're in pain, get your dog inside. Just pay attention. Your, your dog is going to let you know. Um, 
And those are those would be my tips. All right, great. Let's take one last look at our guys here. Hi, Cody is definitely the star. <laughs> Cody, he is really good at giving paw. He gives so paw even when hi, I don't ask hi, for. Hi, hi, but, no, no. And there's one of those Christmas trees you gotta watch there out we for. Go. Wilbur. All right, Wilbur, we get to see. <laughs> there you go. Well, thanks for tuning in to abcnews.com. And uh, as you saw with the dog walkers and also with the USPS workers, um, we are thankful to these people who come out and have to do their job even in the freezing cold. So if you're one of those people, one of those dog walkers, thank you so much for being out in the freezing cold. Um, and everyone else, be sure to stay warm in these freezing temperatures. There's warmer days ahead, don't worry. Thanks for watching, I'm Charlie James.